This is a rather old, small axe hatchet that's been extremely well used, not overly well taken care of, but it serves to illustrate um, just how far that we've fallen in terms of appreciation for axes in one very significant effect, and that's the nature of the handle. But now before I get into that, just want to make a few comments on the overall state. Uh, the head is painted, as often came with uh, axes, because it covered up imperfections in forging or casting of the head. Similar, the handles would often be painted to cover up any issues with grain. So normally the first thing you want to do is strip off the paint, strip off the paint, have a look at it. There's no real issue with the edge in terms of any defects to the crowning or bearding. Uh, the toe and heel are nice and formed. There's no real significant damage in terms of the edge itself, so it shouldn't be a big issue to clean this up. The pole shows obvious sign of heavy use, uh, fracture, and actually compaction. That would want to be cleaned up. Just level this off nice and flat and round these over to strengthen it a bit in terms of future impacts. The head is slightly starting to come off the haft a little bit, and you can see it's actually shrank down if you look inside the bit. However, this is a relatively old axe. That is very, very slow movement. I know it hasn't moved like that in at least half a dozen years. I don't think it's a real functional issue. Uh, normally, if this was my axe, I'd actually take the head off and re-haft it. But this is a very nice old handle. It mightn't survive that. And given the use that this axe is likely going to get, I don't think it'll be a significant problem. But I will make a note to the owner and tell him to just keep an eye on this. The real reason that I wanted to make this video, and I'll show a sort of aftershot of this once I get it cleaned up, is take a good look at this handle. Note the width and the thickness. This is what I would call a previous generation X, might even be two generations ago. This is an example of a common X I also need to clean up. It's the kind of generation X that you would get today. See the difference in the handle? See how much wider it is? See how much thicker the handle is? They're night and day. Now, the main reason that this happened, if you look at this handle, you'll also see some of the imperfections, such as the knots here. As the wood got of lower quality, in order to reduce defects, they started making the wood much thicker and much wider. And people who are not familiar with axes looked on that and thought it was a good thing. Well, I'm getting more wood, more product. It's obviously of much more value. The problem is, this extra handle material has extra weight. Extra weight down here doesn't do you as much good in an axe whatsoever. You want the axe to be much more forward balanced. It starts to feel less and less like an axe and more and more like a club. The other thing is a more thicker and a more wider handle makes it more rigid. And again, older axes with the much more slender handles not only were lighter for the same impact power and efficiency, but they were also more comfortable in hand because the handle itself which had a bit of spring and didn't transmit as much direct shock back to the user. So to me, this was a rather striking example of an axe that was clearly a couple of generations old and will be an absolute joy to use as an axe compared to this, which is a current model from Black King, which again, very nice axe for current generations, but this is very much has the feel and action of a club compared to this, it's night and day. And it's very striking to show just how far we've come as a culture that lost our appreciation for fine woodcutting tools when something like this is actually made. Given the handle a light sanding, looks excellent. Couple of little spots of damage here. A few little dents out at the bottom, but otherwise, very nice handle. Little minor split down there issue there but otherwise excellent condition which is what I wanted to see. Did a very quick buff on the head again looking for major issues any cracks or splits that would make you want to discard it no issues. Quickly rounded over the edge of the poles again because that's a durability concern where you're starting to split and fracture. So the next step is now take this apply some coats of linseed oil Get the handle nice back in working condition. So basically coat it every couple of days until it doesn't get that really, really dry, rapid soak of the oil indicating it, indicating then that the, the wood is nice and lubricated. Then put the final polish on the edge. No real damage to the edge. Yeah, there's a couple of dings and such, but I mean, nothing dramatic. And we don't need to reshape the actual edge itself. It has a nice functional curved arc on it. 
So again, a couple of days of applying linseed oil to this handle and a very quick reset and sharpen of the edge and this is ready to go and vastly superior to most of the modern small axes or hatchets that are available.